Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for January 24th, 2020. Check this card out. Remember yesterday? <laughs> so we have Relationship Healing Morganite from yesterday and today we have Kunzai Self Love. And this is exactly what we're getting at here. This is a week where you will have those deeper shadow aspects come up. This will be maybe even some past traumas that come out of this. So of course you can lean on your spiritual team but please also, if it's hitting your mental body, your physical body, get with a psychotherapist. A good one, okay? There are bad ones out there. Sociopaths can become therapists. Oh, yes. That's why you need to educate yourself on these things. You know what I mean? That way, when you recognize it, you can kind of get yourself out of it. But get a good therapist if that's what you need or a good doctor, okay? But this self-love card is talking about facing those things that it's become such a deep part of who we are, we forgot it was there. It's like cleaning out a closet and going, oh my gosh, how long has this thing been in there? <laughs> Still has the tags on it. I bought it, shoved it in the back of the closet, never looked at it again. I'm like that with shoes. I always think I'm going to wear heels. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I kind of do here and there, but not as often as you would think. But, you know, it's that kind of feeling here where in the deep recesses of your being, of your mind, your heart, your soul, your physical being, something has just been taking up space and draining you. And maybe you forgot it was even there. Maybe you got so fed up of trying to overcome it that you came to a place of acceptance, which is good, and then you left it. Is that I just have to accept. I can't undo the past. I can't go back and redo my childhood. I am who I am. It's safer to not have feelings. You guys know if you watch my channel for any bit of time, you know I talk about narcissism all the time. I'm not a psychologist, but I am someone who has survived narcissist over and over and over again. It was such a part of my existence that I thought that that's how people were. I thought it was normal. I didn't know any better. <laughs> so... Um, you know, this is that kind of thing where we're starting to realize, okay, no, it's not better to just shut off your empathy. And I don't know that that can be turned back on once somebody turns it off, but hopefully, hopefully that could be salvaged. But this is saying, give yourself a chance, okay? And go ahead and look at with the proper support, whatever that means for you, whether that is getting with a therapist um, a licensed psychologist or a medical doctor if you're having physical symptoms or something like that. But make sure you're well, you're well supported as you go on this journey. And remember, you can always send love. You can always send love to your inner child. You can always send love to other people's inner child. It's up to them whether they want to accept it or not. But you can always put that out there. All right? Give yourself a chance. Maybe this will be really good to finally be able to work through it and let it go. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.